I want to tell you about the Floating Witch Mystery, which is the story of school news reporter Vina Vale, who lives in a bookshop on an island in the middle of a river. This is the third of my Nightshade Mysteries about crimes committed by magical people in a world that doesn't really believe magic exists. The first one was the Howling Hag mystery and that was followed by the Poison Pie mystery and I'm talking about the Floating Witch mystery before it's even come out so I can't even show you what that will look like but it's coming soon. They're all about special magical investigators who stop sorcerers getting away with using magic irresponsibly but detecting magical crimes isn't easy and can lead to a lot of problems when trying to keep the whole secret about magic. The Floating Witch is a barge owned by travelling witch Hetty Dimple who spends the summer at a delightful island community on the River Slee giving readings and dispensing magic in her little witch gifts like her best-selling Good Luck Pebbles or her Go Fast Conkers. In the summer, the Sleaford Island community bustles with people visiting the cafe Iced and Sliced, run by Lorna, who's a genius with cakes. But the story opens when there is something wrong with Lorna. What is she afraid of? And why does she not want to open her cafe this year? If the rest of the island community of Vina and her friends cannot work out what is wrong, Will Vina's mum have to close the bookshop and move away from Vina's beloved island home? Then the arrival of a charming stranger, Scott, in a very fancy boat, makes everyone believe he's going to solve all their troubles except Vina. No one believes Vina when she warns everyone she suspects Scott has a secret reason for being there. Vina will do anything to save her home but Vina has her own secrets. She knows magic is real, even though she has no magical powers herself. Vina turns to Nightshade, a black cat with a secret, who is the only one who believes Vina when she says she suspects Scott is using dangerous mind control magic to disguise what his real intentions are in coming to the island. Vina is a school news reporter with a strong belief in truth and justice, but as she is foiled at every turn, she becomes increasingly desperate. Vina knows all about the power of bringing magic into her fight with Scott, but will she be lured down a very dangerous path to save her home? She says she will do anything to save her island, but are the risks she takes too much? are the lengths she should not go to and can Nightshade do anything to stop very bad things happening? What lengths would you go to in order to save your home? This is my sixth book and all of them are set in the same magical world where sorcerers often go bad. You don't have to read the others to enjoy the floating witch mystery and I really hope you enjoy this one. Mm -hmm.